thank you for joining us. Are you well? Let's have some cameras on, people. Let's see who we're talking to. And this is Gary, by the way. Good afternoon or good evening, everybody. And if you don't know Gary, that's all right. Not a problem. Let's stick your cameras on, if you wouldn't mind, and then we'll, we can see who we're talking to, or at least your microphone. So we've got some audience. Here we're talking to. iPhone, check your inbox, because you should have a message from Gary. Beautiful. Beautiful. Your vodka, you know, by the way. You know what they've probably done is what I used, I normally do with the American one, is uh, they do this bit, and then until the time I go, I'm going to the, I'm going for a beer. I was going yeah, to the kitchen yeah, and then run back like <laughs> and go, oh, yeah. they've been looking at an empty chair for 20 minutes. Awesome. That's unmute. Hello, Morris. Can you hear us? If any of you can hear us, then please. No, we're not. <laughs> Me and you, mate. Me and you. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Me and you put the work right. Let it ferment for a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> Have you seen DJ Studio? DJ Studio? Not yet. What is that? Is it good? This is going to change the face of things going forward massively. Really? It is. It is immense. So it's probably been running for about eight months. Yeah. It's been all right. Imagine Mixmeister 2020. Oh, hello. Ah, he can hear us. Marcus can hear us. He said hello. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah, that's Morris. Yes, I can hear you. There we go. Who oh, are excellent. You? That's brilliant. Hello, Morris. Hey, hey there, Morris. You okay? I'm good. How y'all doing? Yeah, we're not bad. Nobody there is. Yeah, beautiful. So I'll turn DJ Studio later because it, it does have a bearing on what we're doing, but it's it's good. Today, it's I don't know whether you guys have caught a, a UK one before. I'm not sure. Have, have either of you caught a, a UK hackathon before? Yeah? Okay, cool. Morris, what about you? Oh, you're muted again, Morris. That's, no. Oh, there we go. No, <laughs> okay. We do things slightly differently. It's a little bit more laid back than the than our American counterparts. We have a slightly different angle on our music a little bit. We do, we try and keep to the format and try and keep, it's not as dynamic as, as the American one. And I know tomorrow night's one is going to be extremely dynamic, but we'll be going live on Facebook at eight o'clock. That's already set up. I'm not sure what quite what's happened to YouTube, but, but we'll be doing Facebook anyway, into the, into the private group. This particular one, we're going to be talking about disco tracks. It doesn't have to be seventies, although looking at the looking at the crate at the moment and looking at the leaderboard, there's a lot of somebody put Dancing Queen in there. I didn't see that earlier. <laughs> a good disco tune, it works. Yeah, yeah, it is a disco tune. It's, it's, yeah, the, the think, suggestions think, are pretty um, good. I think what we should do at some point, if it's okay with you, if we pick a few tracks and say about how where would you go after playing it for instance mm. dancing queen is quite a nice one to go from disco into a more cheesy set where mm. uh, i put earth wind and fire in september in and i find that is a really good tune to go especially with the use of stems is mm. the nice little i ah, yeah, i can't sing but the nice little refrain at the end you yeah. can loop and stem that out and pretty much drop anything underneath it um, yeah, it's I, true. I did the other day. I, I think I went to Club Tropicana underneath it. Nice. Which works quite nicely. So, yeah, that's uh, perhaps we could have a little chat about that later on. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely. We can throw that in. We got awesome. any more buddy, anybody else waiting to uh, come Chris in? Chris has joined us. Chris, can you unmute yourself and put your camera on, mate, if you can hear us? Is that our Chris? I'm not sure. I'll find <laughs> out when, we, when he unmutes himself and puts his camera on. It may not be. The more the merrier. Come on in, folks. And what else have we got? Keith, can you put your camera on? Cameras on, chaps and chapesses. It just makes life a lot easier if we can see or hear who we're talking to. Morris, whereabouts are you based, my friend? US. Yeah, where, whereabouts? Virginia. Oh, nice. And are you open format or do you specialise? No, basically open format. Awesome. The confusion you'll find with the UK one is open format is basically just DJing here. <laughs> we don't really seem to have specialist clubs and venues anymore. We used to many years ago. We don't really seem to now. And so based, or, or a lot of the UK guys just, we play a bit of absolute everything. Yeah, everything. yeah. <laughs> and, and everything and more besides, which uh, makes it more fun. Gives you more places to go. Okay, so let's let's we're let's see. We're ten minutes in. Have you got? Have you guys put any suggestions on the in the uh, in the leaderboard? Have you been on to uh, createoftheweek dot com and stuck your suggestions in there? Okay, no, go, go ahead and um, put some suggestions in, and let's see 
if you can also there's a leaderboard there so at the moment we've got staying alive up there i'm going to stick a like in there that's it on the radio that is a proper tune lovely lovely song oh hang on i've unliked staying alive hang on there we are back to the top staying alive on the radio dancing queen september you think i'm always going off here september oh we got two staying alives okay that's fine disco inferno now, bearing in mind, this doesn't have to be 70s. It can be 80s. Jump to the beat. That's a good one. Let's put that one in. If we're not doing 70s and just 80s, then I'm going to chuck Daft Punk, Get Lucky in. It can be any kind of disco, baby. I, I think uh, that's a great tune, and that's a great great kind of disco tran transition tune. Yeah, so feel free to throw anything on the on the fire to get the fire burning. Let's go a bit further down, D.O., Murder on the Dance Floor, Rasputin. What were you telling me about Murder on the Dance Floor earlier? Oh, have any of the American fellas, have you seen Saltburn? It's a, a movie on Prime, Amazon Prime. Basically, Murder on the Dance Floor was obviously, what, 2009 maybe? And it's now gone back to number two on our UK charts because it features in Saltburn, the movie, and it's been all over TikTok, etc. So I watched it yesterday. I'm a video DJ. I watched it yesterday and I thought... I could use parts of the the film in the video just to make it a bit more relevant. Yeah, not the bit of the movie that they use the song because basically <laughs> it's just a naked guy dancing around dance, like with his bits out. Really not what I want on my big screens in the venue. So oh, yeah, possibly not. Won't be doing that one. <laughs> oh, Chris. Hey Chris, thanks for joining us. Oh, he's playing with his phone. He's getting himself organised. I oh, can see. You. Oh no, we got top of your head now. There we go. Awesome. Beautiful. Cool. The gentleman on the iPhone, I haven't got a name for you. What's your name, mate? Dinny. Dinny, okay. And whereabouts are you based? I'm in Ireland. I'm in Cody Cork. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome awesome. along. Thank you. So Actually, cool. just talking about, I, he I hear you saying you're a video DJ. I, I am, yes. Yeah, I do I do some kind of DJ or video DJ nights sometimes as well, but I get my, my videos from WeMix. Oh, I'm, I'm very glad about that because I'm coming to WeMix. WeMix. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yes, I am co-owner yeah, of the movie, so. No, I'm very glad. Very glad. Welcome along. I like you. I like you a lot. Thank you. <laughs> You've got some super. brownie points there now, man. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, super. Well, if, you, if you ever have any issues, my name, my proper name is Gary Bamford on Facebook. Feel free to message me direct if you ever have any issues. I will. But, thank uh, you. Anything I can help with, I will do. Yeah, I will. I'll drop the link in the... Uh, in the chat yeah please yeah. feel free to add me anybody because i need the friends i just well, welcome i added another suggestion there just i need yeah. a war to ring my bell oh such a cheer oh, right. let's give that a let's give that a thumbs up yeah where is definitely. it where is it where is it i've got good times that's a good one get luckies in there feel free to like any of these if you go down the suggestions we'll, we'll talk about them in detail in just a little while but if there's anything you see there you think should be further up to the top then by all means, please do click the thumbs up and that will get it moved further to the top. So if we got, if you are in the waiting room, by the way, welcome, or you're not got your camera on anything, stick your camera on because we'd like to know who we're talking to and we'd like to get you all into the party because it just looks better. And the boss likes it that way. If you could stick, at least stick your microphone on so we can hear you when we go around the room in just a second. We will be going live on Facebook as well. And we are recording this so it get shoved up on YouTube a little later on as well. So thank you so much, everybody. And still people coming in. So we're going to... Here is Manny as well coming in now. Who's that? Manny. Manny. Yeah, I'm on the door today. I'm being all security-like. <laughs> Hi, Manny. How you doing? Oh, got his headphones on now. Hi, Manny. How you doing? You need to unmute, Manny. Un unmute, there you go. What's going on, everyone? How you doing, Manny? You okay? How are you? Yeah, buddy, doing great. Just getting settled back in the, the groove of everything. A little Excellent. longer than, thank God I don't have to go to school like the kids. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> so we're just going to give it a couple more minutes, five minutes or so to get everybody else in. We were just chatting about some of the suggestions that we've got in the in the crate of the week. So if you haven't put any suggestions in or you haven't seen crate of the week, anybody's watching then please, by all means, go to Crate of the Week, come and have a look and you'll see all the suggestions that are in so far. We are doing quite well this time around, I think. So we got Top to Bottom, Staying Alive, On the Radio, Dancing Queen, Disco Inferno, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, September, Le Freak, Ring My Bell. I'm going to give that a thumbs up straight away. Ring My Bell, what a great record that is. Ain't No yep. Mountain High Enough. No, ain't no stopping us now. Don't know why I think I ain't no mountain high enough. I don't know why I said that. Hot stuff. 
Yes, sir, I can boogie. Get Lucky is the only one so far that I can see that is, other than Murder on the Dance Floor, that is that is not 70s or early 80s based. Although Nile Rogers is on it, so... Yeah, that's good, a, that, isn't it? Link, yeah. <laughs> uh, Car Wash, Don't Leave Me This Way, Funky Town, Keep Them Coming, Keep Them Coming, Stick Them In There, because we've already got a, a sort of semi-crate with 25 tracks that I put together and put up into crate hackers it is available now if you want that crate but we will be adding to it to make the finished product and the finished crate this week and it will be ready and we've had to get ourselves into a bit of a routine here over the last couple of weeks while christmas and new year and festive stuff has been going on because we all got a bit too much and we're working out what to do so let me explain a little bit about how this works every two weeks now we will be doing uh, our playlist parties as we call them we're not going to call them hackathons so much anymore because it's we wanted to include as many things and as many people as we can sometimes we might just come on and chat about music and chat about and build a crate from scratch that could be one thing that we've been talking about and then other times we may have a selected crate here already that we may build on and we get it to 50 tracks and that's generally what we're going to do also we're talking about the possibility of doing sub crates as well so 10 or 15 absolute bangers that no matter what you do you'll they'll work no matter where you are in the world there's a couple of things that we're toying about doing we're seven i say 57 so we're three minutes away from going live on facebook and getting this crate built so as soon as we go live, we'll go around the room, see where everybody is and see where you're from. So feel free to jump in. Feel free to chat. Anybody got any suggestions whatsoever, feel free to jump in. We don't mind. If you want to say something, then by all means, jump in. We're not uh, massively busy just yet. If you do want to say something, we're not going to we're not going to worry about you pressing the hand up button. But we do have the chat open. So if you want to say anything, then please feel free to put some put your comments in the chat as well. We don't mind that. That's always good. Oh, that fingers there in the Chris has got fingers. I thought that was somebody's backside then for a minute. I was like, oh, <laughs> what have I logged into? What's happening? I've got you on my mobile, so I was just touching the screen to uh, see where <laughs> the hands up thing was. Yeah. I've got a couple of new suggestions actually. Yeah, please uh, do. Say. Please do. So, Dua Leap has got a few. So let's start now. Yeah. Oh, and Dance the Night. It's a great disco tune. Yeah. And Lizzo about damn time. Do we play yeah. Lizzo anymore? I thought she got cancelled. I, I don't know whether she got cancelled. <laughs> she's know. very quiet. And there, there is a, Jessie Ware as well. She's got a few disco type tunes. Is it Free Yourself? I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, Free Yourself's a really good track. Hang on a minute. Nigel's with us. Oh, he's gone. He was here oh. a second ago and now he's disappeared. Not Hello, Nigel. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good to have you on board. All right, guys and girls, because I think there's some girls here as well, which is fantastic. Can't now, talk about Richard Daly like that. Now, we're going to go live on Facebook now. We're going to get this thing rolling. There's more people trying to get in here, which is absolutely fantastic. The more, the merrier. We're going to have a right good chinwag and a chat about this music. We're going to play some ones and o's and some other stuff. Thank you, everybody. And let's get hacking this disco crate. Everybody ready? Yeah, man. Beautiful. Let's do it. I'm pressing the button now, so hopefully this should work. Because last time I did this, it didn't work. Make sure you've got your volume turned down, because we had a horrible noise last time. We did, yeah. I'm um, just on I'm on the headphones now, which is fantastic. Okay. Nothing happened when I pressed it, so I'm going to press it again and see what happens. Something I'm doing it doesn't like. Oh, hello. There's a warning coming up at the top of the screen. What's that say? You are... Apparently, I don't have permission to stream, which I do. I know I do. So let's refresh that for a start off. Papa, not a problem. On Facebook, let's crack on again. Okay, here we go. Give me a second. I'm just going to fill the details in a second and we'll be ready to go. Can I chat while you're doing that? Yeah, go on then. No problem. Let's have a little go around the room then, shall we, and see who's around. Who's new? Richard. Richard Daly. Unmute yourself, mate. I'm just speaking for a while. Happy New Year to you. Thank you, guys. And you have anyone else? How are you doing? Awesome, yeah, really good, thank you. So where, just for everybody else, whereabouts are you in the world and what do you play? I am in Peterborough, in the UK. Not the Canadian Peterborough, but the UK Peterborough. I play anything that people pay me to play. Good man, I like your style. Anyone at 
a complete music whore, someone who'll do anything for the money. Exactly, I like it. Yeah. And I, I have played everything from 1920s music right the way through to. Yep. I knew, I knew Richard, a bit of backstory. Yeah. I knew Richard when he had a massive afro as well. And I had yep. hair at the same time. That's how long ago that was. That was a while ago. So, yeah. You had so, um, hair. I did have hair. Yeah, it's very true. I know it doesn't happen very often. But we're going to go, where, I'm going clockwise on my screen. Paul Davis, can you unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, despite the accents, I'm a bloody American now. Really? <laughs> Just to make you laugh, bass is Bolton. Awesome. Awesome. My, my stepson's at, at uni in Bolton. Oh, Bolton, Bolton, Massachusetts. Oh, Bolton, Massachusetts is in uni in Bolton here. Are we all, all in, right. are we all in American places that are named after English places? We've got Peter Brothers, one in Canada. They yeah, actually do have down the road a new London. Oh, God. <laughs> Main, Maynard. To be fair, we need a, need a new London. The old one's a bit rubbish. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm a Londoner. There. Careful there. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Okay, so we've got Sir John Ferrari. That's a great name. Wow, that's a good name. I, I love, love that. that. Yeah. That, is, that is, a, is that a DJ name or is that your real name? It's funny because whenever I start working somewhere new and then they go to write the check or whatever, they say, okay, so what's your real name? And I say John Ferrari. And they say, no, not the DJ name. And I'm like, but yeah, that's my real name. Good if you could turn around to them and say, actually, my real name's John Lamborghini. <laughs> or something like that. Denver, Denver, Colorado. And I was resident DJ at Polyester's back in New York on Long Island for a while doing disco in 80s. So when I saw awesome. this, I was... Great stuff. No, brilliant. Oh, we are live. Keep going, Gary. Yeah, I'll keep going. Okay, I'll keep going with the way my screen's going then. So we've got Manny. Manny. He's watching something else now. That sheet on the back of your chair makes it look like you're about to be pounced on by a ghost. Manny, introduce yourself, mate, to those that don't know you. Hi, everybody. My name is Manny. Wow, you guys got me talking like I'm over there. I'm an American. Okay, you guys got me this British accent listening to you guys. <laughs> Dude, that just happens when you hear it and you're not used to it. But I am a curator working for Creative Hackers. Love, I love it. I love the app myself. I started out just like anyone who's just about to sign up today or in the future and fell in love with the software. And now I am a part of it and hoping to help everyone else answer any questions or build something new. Brilliant Ooh. stuff. Okay, yeah. next to you on my screen is Chris Codling. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm Chris. I'm from Scarborough in the UK. Yeah, I just do weddings mostly, just playing pretty much everything and anything I get asked to play. Yeah, it's just general music. You've got your disco stuff, your party stuff, your dancey stuff. Yeah, a bit of everything. And I know, that, I know just... Chris. I've known Chris a couple of years through WeMix, and you went professional full-time DJing a couple of years ago, didn't you? Yeah, back in January a couple of years ago, so literally I'm like two years in now, yeah. And not stopped since, the busiest man in show business. <laughs> yeah, this time of year it's, it's nice to be quiet, but yeah, it's, it's manic during summer. But that, that's the beauty of having a few kind of hotels that you do regularly, and you're going to get their weddings, so it's been good. Awesome, yeah. great to hear from you. Okay, we'll drop down. The next one on mine is Mr. John Lowe. John, would you like to unmute yourself? Tell us. He's looking for the button. There, there you go. go. Oh, how hey, are John, you? How are you? Yeah, I'm not happy about my full name being on, but you know. You can rename I'll rename yeah. it for you. I'll <laughs> rename it for you. Gary, Gary will God. rename you. I can do that. Oh, call you? No, that's my Sunday name. Man. So, John, tell us a little bit about you for those who don't know you. Tell us where you're from. What you're about, what you do. I'm from sunny Wigan, which I believe there is no American term for Wigan. Or the American I'm sorry, John, I have to apologise. My wife has just bought my tea. Pete's going to take over. I'm just going to sit quietly and eat my tea. <laughs> what is that? It's vegetarian scampi, spicy fries and sweet corn with mayo. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Sorry, sorry John. Okay, it's the, right. the amazing John Lowe. I've got this Charlotte entering the waiting room. Okay, Charlotte's with us as well. Don't forget, if you're new or you're sitting there and you haven't got your camera on, you haven't got your microphone on, please join the party. Please come and join us because the more the merrier. So go on, John. Keep going. Wigan. Yeah. So Wigan, DJ for about 19 years now, something like that. Just started yeah. with the uh, some of the Butlins crew last year. Yeah. Done everything from clubs, mainly do weddings, corporates nowadays. Fantastic. Yeah. Good, good. Where haven't we been to? Thank you. Uh, thank you, John. Where haven't we been to? Roy, have we done you yet? Not yet, no. Hi, guys. Are you all right? How you doing, Roy? You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Uh, yes, I'm Essex based. Do mostly play anything and everything, mostly in town. Excellent. In that dreaded London. How is it down there? A place where you can never park. It's cold down there. Yeah, absolutely. It's the parking uh, mayor of the world. 
Yeah, yeah. It can never, and when you can, it costs you a fortune. And they charge you for everything now. So oh yes, it does. For, yeah. for the for the non-British people among us, Britain is going through a terrible parking clean air zone charge you for everything mm. that is possible situation at the minute. So going to gigs is in Birmingham at the moment. If you drive into Birmingham city centre, now you get charged eight pound if you've got a certain type of vehicle, and if it goes past midnight and you drive out of Birmingham, you get charged another eight pound. It's six pound per gig just to turn up, which is. Always interested. So we that. get with a congestion charge as well. Yeah, you got that. We haven't got that yet, thank goodness. It's coming. <laughs> oh, it is. We're just about clean air at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll find a way of stopping me going to work. By the way, for those of you who just joined us who don't know, I'm Pete. I, I am host and co-host with Gary. My job is to do what Aaron does in the states and guide this hackathon playlist party through the next hour or so so we can look who haven't we spoken to yet let's have a look joseph uh, paul, we've spoken to paul yet oh paul or joseph let's think Paul's there's, here. There's paul where are you paul where's paul paul's not right here i can't see you paul oh there you are hi hey, paul <laughs> how are you good how are you guys doing yeah not too bad tell us a little bit about yourself paul i'm in southern california i joined crate hackers about a month ago and finally had an opportunity here to jump in and get some additional knowledge and share share some knowledge with some other DJs around the world. Yep. Uh, I've been DJing for about 30 years now, and uh, I actually retired as we went into COVID, and then we came out of COVID, and schools were throwing so much money at us, we went back to work. I gave up everything except for large high school events, so I do primarily winter homecomings, proms, and homecomings is what I typically do. Superb. Yeah, that's good. Welcome back. Brilliant. Where are we going? Joseph, how are you? you you'll have to up yourself, Joseph, or I can... I will. Uh, there you are. Can you hear me now? There that's a go. lovely clock you've got above your head there, sir. Thank you. My day job is selling clocks, so that's... My boss is out of the office, so I think he's doing the hackathon, and I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. I'm out of Durham, North Carolina. I've yep. actually been a great Hackers member since day one and been DJing for 16 years now. A little bit of everything, wedding heavy, but school events and pretty much whatever I can find and having a great time of it. Fantastic. Love you. Oh, that's good. Good. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. We got Jeff as well down the bottom there. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? You look like you're pilot in a starship there, mate. What's going on? Yeah, can you see me? Yeah, we got you. We got you. How you doing? Where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself quickly. So I'm from Northern California, in the California coast. I've just been DJing now for about a year and a half. Okay. I'm, act oh. I'm actually an artist producer. And I was a professional musician, lots of bands, lots of experience. And since my music's doing well and it's DJ based, I had to learn how to DJ. Cool. So to supplement my original music, because it's very expensive to market, not necessarily. Yeah. I started doing events and stuff like that. And my forte is, I don't know if anyone else is doing this. I dress up in different costumes and do like a Prince set. I do a set with my Chongo, my monkey. I do sets with dressed as Elvis. I do sets with... Really, my forte is 80s and disco. It's wow. Different than I think what you guys are used to, but I'm digging everything I'm seeing. We've been known to dress we, up occasionally, we, haven't we, Pete? Yeah, we've uh, been known to put the occasional wig on. We go. Nice, oh, Gary. Very <laughs> nice. There we go. <laughs> we need pictures. We need for many. Okay, who haven't we spoken to? Have we spoken to everybody? Welcome, by the way, Jeff. Thank you so much for that, mate. Have a look. We, I don't think we spoke to Phil. Phil Haynes, how are you? Oh, you need to unmute, sir. Here we go. We can hear you now. I'm trying to keep a low profile while I'm at work. Are oh, you working, are you? <laughs> How you doing, Phil? You all right? Not so bad. Good man. We're, we won't make you talk too much, just in case. <laughs> We've got, sorry, I mean, my mouth full. We've got Wayne as well. Hi, Wayne. How you doing? Hello, Mr. Pete. Hi, buddy. I'm Wayne. I'm in Leicester in England. How you doing? You okay? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, not so bad. Still doing it. We're here. Pleased and, to hear uh, it. We've got many a thing coming. There's, there's, there's more people coming in as well, which is fantastic. Okay, I think we've pretty much spoke to everybody. If, if we haven't spoken to you and you're there, stick your hand up and we'll come to you. Uh, but we're going to get things going now. I'm going to share this screen so you can see exactly what we're talking about today. All right, here we go. Today is all about disco. It doesn't have to necessarily be 70s disco. It doesn't necessarily need to be up tempo disco can mean anything you can self start building the crate already with things like 
hang on, I need to unshare this and click a button, don't I? One second. Let's do that again. Click that. Click that. So we've I've started with things like this, low tempo, easy going disco, and then I've ended up right up the top here with things like I feel love, disco night, the tempo goes up and down. So so we've got some brilliant suggestions on the right hand side. Who plays disco? St stick your hand up and just jump in. Don't wait for us to invite you, but just if you play disco, give us an idea of what you're playing and where you're playing it and how you're playing it. Are you playing edits? Are you playing the full versions? Are you playing remixes? Let us know what, what you're doing. Chris, go on. Yeah, one that I like to play is the, the remix of Sylvester's You Make Me Feel for Mighty Real. Is it okay. Michael Greer remix? It, it's got a lower BPM and it mixes really well with the Bee Gees' You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. That, that's my kind of combo. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else dropping any disco well, tune? And as I mentioned, I, I do primarily schools, but somehow Dancing Queen made it back on the playlist last year, and yep. we snuck that in. And occasionally I'll sneak in a remix of uh, Staying Alive that I've had for a long time from Ultimix. I think it's the remix company that did it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll stick it in where we can. It depends on the school. Yeah. I've yeah. got, obviously, I video DJ, and I've got, I made a great video of The Rock. He did a lip sync battle where he did Staying Alive. And that's absolutely brilliant. He's there in his white suit, and it's amazing. It's the same episode that he did Taylor Swift Shake It Off, which is hilarious. But <laughs> that's a bit of a go-to. But when I, if I'm doing a, a corporate or a wedding or any kind of private party, disco kind of seems to me my go-to for starting. Sure. Because I just it find it seems to be the most accessible genre. Yeah. With a lot of the people that I play for, so yeah, it's good. And it would be if I was to say my opener. Or something that I would pretty much put money on that would get people on the dance floor would be September, mm. Wind and Fire, an absolute classic. Yeah, it's got to be up there. September, Earth, Wind and Fire, even Boogie Wonderland is mm. is one of the ones. Now, what I did do when I built the crate, let me oh, I click the wrong button. When I built the crate, I didn't go with so many obvious ones because I knew that you guys would be would be jumping in with some brilliant suggestions. You can see down there, Disco Inferno. Is a massively obvious one. Use it up and wear it out. I don't know you guys know this. Um, a, a big one when I used to do my 70s disco show. Uh, you should be dancing Bee Gees. Yeah, but there are a million and one others. Let's see. If you go to crateofthweek.com, if you haven't stuck your suggestions in or anything that comes to mind while we're talking, a reason why I say this is I want to talk about what records go with what what kind of gary's already mentioned uh, a couple somebody else mentioned some as well i want to talk about if you were playing for instance yes sir i can boogie which is at number three in the crate already what would you any suggestions as to what may go with that something that may may go for it could be a wordplay one with heat wave and boogie wonderland and stuff like that yeah anyone else got anything I heard a big bang and I realised it was someone upstairs. Someone upstairs in my house just slammed a door. I thought, what was that? Yeah, any others? Let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, so I can boogie. Let's go back here a second. Can You Feel It? The Jacksons is is a great record. Gary, do you play, when do you play the video version of Can You Feel It? Have you got an edit or have you got the one with the crazy man talking at the beginning, telling I'm you about not, the creation of the world? I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever played it. Really? For a very, very long time. All right. One's in the chat. One's in the chat. If you've it's ever Gary's played, if you've ever played, Can You Feel It by the Jacksons? If that's a track you've played, stick some ones in the chat. We got some there. We got a zero for I'll take it zeros for not playing it. Roy's mm -hmm. never played right. it. Nine. Yeah, look at right. your man he's played it. This is good. This is good. People watching on Facebook, by the way, if you're wondering, there's a, we've got our own little chat here, but you can join in as well and stick some ones and o's in the chat on Facebook as well. Interestingly, I, I have a question. Who's never heard it? Who doesn't know what we're talking about? Clearly, Gary, you don't. I know. I know the song. I'm aware of that. I just very rarely play it. Wow. I'm <laughs> really surprised. Really Mine would be, if I was looking at a kind of Jackson's thing, it would be blame it on the boogie. Yeah. Almost ABC. I want you back. That kind of affair. Or don't stop till you get enough Michael Jackson. That's okay. that would be my go to. Jackson's kind of. I just. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the first to jump out at me. 
Wow. Oh, you have surprised me there, mate. Hang on, let's get a bit of this on air because it's a great record. Let's see. Feel the need to right. Here we go. Jacksons. Come on, boys. I love that song so much. Can you hey. feel it, the Jacksons? Yeah. Hey, sorry, we've had a quick message from Aaron. He said yeah. he would join, but the power's out at his cabin and there's five inches of snow. That's a good excuse for not joining. You know what? I will give him that one. He gets a pass out on that one because he has a cabin. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I've got an echo there. So. That's like the sort of excuse I would have taken to school with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he also says he hasn't done his homework. I can't do my English homework. The St. Bernard lost the book on the way from rescuing us from the Snowden <laughs> cabin. Okay, brilliant. We got Chris Power seems to be having some kind of an issue getting in and staying in. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, where are we? We are, let's have a look at the suggestions. Oh, man. I have to say, guys, I'm really chuffed with the suggestions. Now, what I'd like you to do is go to go to Crate of the Week. Where are we? Crate of the Week.com. Go to Crate of the Week.com where you're putting your suggestions in. And let's start hitting some of those thumbs up for the ones you really like. Give it up, Casey and the Sunshine Band. That gets a that gets an up from me. I'm not going to hit Glory again or I will survive because it just drives me insane, that record. Voulez vu now. There's a, is it me or is there a remix of Voulez Vous by ABBA floating around that I haven't got and don't know about? Three times now people have asked me for it and I've gone, don't know what you're talking about. So Gary, enlighten me. Or can anybody enlighten Voulez me? Voulez Vous this? remix? Yeah. Didn't, I think Free Jack remixed it a short while ago, if I remember right. Let me just have a little look in my humongous catalogue. Sorry to butt in, guys. Uh, yes, there is a remix of it. There's a lot on DJ City. Sorry, I can't get my video to work. That's all oh, right, no worries. Yeah. It's just a voice, a disembodied voice coming from the door. I've got one here from Remix as well, Gary, to be fair. A, a Null Remix. I, yeah, I remember doing the video to that. Or did, did I do that one, I think? Yeah, it's a Party, 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 Party Man one, yeah. Party yeah. Man, yeah, I remember seeing that one. There's For those of you who don't know, Gary is very much associated with one of our Great Hackers partners, Remix. If you play videos and you go, when you go to the Great Hackers website and you uh, loading up a crate. If you go to your suggestions, if there's a song you haven't got, hit We Mix, and uh, you'll see all the suggestions come up there as well. So there you go. There's a shameless plug, which keeps my <laughs> subscription rolling. Thank you. Thank Gary. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Adding some credits as we speak. We will, we will also be doing, we're just work, trying to work out the mechanics, but uh, we will be doing an offer where Crate Hackers subscribers will get some free credits or uh, something to We Mix. Um, we are working on a little treat for you all. Keep in, keep interested with that one. Charlotte mm-hmm. said the um, yeah the um, Le Bizu remix of Voulez Vu. Um, yeah. yeah, he does some great stuff. Um, good shout, Charlotte. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so Voulez Vu. Oh, I've lost my thing now. Let's, uh, there's more things coming in here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up to give us more of an idea. And this crate hopefully will be up by the end of the week. If I because the suggestions here are great. Dancing Queen Abba's at the top of the shop at the moment. Le Freak by Chic has made an appearance. That's oh, now it's number one. Brilliant, fantastic. Let's see what else we got. Survive. Let's see. Yeah, st- staying alive. Don't stop till you get an offering by Bell. On the radio, Disco Inferno, hot stuff. September again. Ain't no stopping us now. Funky Town, Lip Sync. We are family now. The Sure is Pure mix of, has anybody heard this? The Sure is Pure mix from yep. 1990, 1997. Oh, is that that early? I think wow. so. I think it's even earlier than that, isn't it? Like 91, I think. 91. I was playing wow. that in, in Northampton, I'm sure. That was a DMC, just, wasn't it? Yeah, DMC. Yeah, I've got it on the just on DMC. Fantastic. One wow. of my very favorite early remixes when people started taking bits out of songs and putting them back in again in a slightly different order very good so that's that one what else is on my list here get lucky still so that's my question other than get lucky and murder on the dance floor which are kind of disco tunes let's forget about the 70s for a second is there anybody got any suggestions that are not necessarily 70s or remixes of 70s songs that are current songs that are disco style can anybody chuck any of those in? Stick some in the chat or stick your hand up or shout out loud and let's get some other non 70s suggestions in. Nigel. Shed loads. Dua Lipa, Don't Stop Now. The new Ariana Grande records basically 
and said Fred's beat. So yeah, that that's a disco record. And then of course all the new disco stuff. Kylie, yeah, which is a massive Kylie. rabbit hole we could go down. Yeah, there's a load of there's a load of new discoy stuff going on there, isn't there? Uh, yeah. New for those of you who are like I was 18 months ago, new disco. What new as in end disco? There's a load of that stuff that's flying around at the moment. There's a lot of remixes of old stuff, but there's also some new stuff that is classed as new disco as well, which is just brilliant. Let's see. Some I have a question. Uh, yeah, please do. Regarding one of the songs in the in the uh, leaderboard. So on the radio, Donna Summer, yeah. who would play it from the beginning? No? Mm, as an opener? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I use that if I can transition from maybe it's too, something that's got way too much energy. Because yeah. then that drop brings it in and it's just so smooth. And then she picks it back up to, yeah. some, to, to just keep well, Personally, it's a lovely song anyway, but I just think the beginning is beautiful. I, I love that kind of, I, I mean, I one of, one of my nights I do here is a power ballad night. So that's, you can, I play power ballad stuff. I play lots of Disney stuff. I'm a unashamedly cheesy mobile DJ. And I, that's why when you'll just see me sitting quietly in the corner when we do the cooler crates. But I love that kind of, I love that piano and vocal type thing. And I, I love the kind of moving it around with the crowd. If so, it's rather than just banging all the time, it's like taking it in and calming them down a bit before it kicks in again. So I, I do really like doing that. Yeah. Now, there, there, is a, there is a school of thought here with disco to not go too mad too early because there are that many, there are that many big bangers. You can pretty much get away with doing a disco set without playing the up-tempo, crazy, you know, don't stop till you get enoughs and so on. But what I'd like to do is, in order to jiggle this up a little bit, because Sheik La Freak's been at the top there, has everybody got access to createoftheweek.com? Has everybody, can everybody see that? If you can see it, that's brilliant. If you can't, then please try and get a look at it. But go over to the leaderboard right now. Have a look at the leaderboard. Right down the bottom is uh, Knock on Wood, Amy Stewart, whether that's the 88 remix or whether it's just the normal version. Who knows? But let's jiggle it up a bit. Let's try and get some of those ones that we've forgotten all about. We've not. Oh, I saw a Rose Voice tune there. Is it Love You're After? Now, that is just brilliant. I'll be giving that a tick there. It was down the bottom. It's gone up now. Like fourth just... from bottom at the minute. Got it, yeah. yeah. Just above Stacey Q, which is a great tune as well. To... Let's jiggle this up a bit and let's hit some buttons. And I'm going to share the screen so we can see it move around. And I'm also going to drop in a couple of bits without us getting blocked either. Bear with me a second. There we go. Let's see if we can fire a few of these off while you're doing that. So we'll give it a minute for you not to hit some buttons. Uh, and then we're going to go through some tracks. Let's see where we are. Oh, I don't know this one at the bottom. Yeah, let's see. Let's yeah. see. Oh, there's another one as well. I don't know. Sorry, yeah. Oh, hang on, it's gone. It's disappeared. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay, there's that. When they move from the when they move on the leaderboard, it stops them from playing. Hilarious. <laughs> let's see what else we got here. Now, Stacy Q. I've never heard that record before in my life. John Ferrari, where are you, John? Never, really. Wow. Mate, I've never heard that song. I talk me through that, man. I played that all the time at Polyester's in New York. Like now out here in Denver, I do open formats. I'm all with the normal hip hop house, but that was like a big song, man. That would dance floor filler. Definitely. Wow. Wow. I put that on my list. Yeah, That's that was great. huge back in the day when I first started getting DJ, started DJing. That and other 80s disco like Taps and some uh, artists like that that we played that were popular here in Southern California, at least. Back on the Bozak and the Yuri mixers with the dial. Remember that? Mm. Yeah. My first mixer was a uh, a Newmark back when they were really good. Made in Japan. It's like a 75, the first unit that had like a sampler on it. Wow. Wow. Back in the day. I've had somebody out. Was that somebody new join us? Who's that down the bottom there, Gary? That's Ian. Ian, if you unmute yourself. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hi, Ian. Yeah, because yeah, I'm man? late. I was otherwise engaged. That's okay. That's you were on okay. the toilet, weren't you? I didn't want to say, but you could have joined me, but that's not really where you want to be, honestly. Welcome along. We're we're talking about seven disco floor fillers, not necessarily just seventies. Yeah. Uh, so what's your what's your go to if you someone was to say, "Er, mate, put some disco on." I get Abba first. Yeah. So you'd go a cheesier side of disco, definitely. Which would your Abba go to be? Sing Queen, probably. Oh, it's interesting how Abba. When I was in my mid-teens. DJ in late teens, early twenties, 
ABBA was just banished. And then before that whole fancy show that they've got going on with the holograms was even thought of, it had already made a resurgence because of, what was that film? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. And then it died off a little bit because they rinsed it. And then it became a little bit cool. Am I right in thinking that? Paul Davis, you've not said much. Let's come to you. Oh, boy. So I don't know where it is, but I came across a really clever remix of These Shoes Are Made For Dancing. Okay. Uh, It sounds weird, but they clubbed it up nicely. Nice beat, nice bass, and they sampled it to death. I've been hunting this whole time. That's why I've been quiet, because I'll be trying to find this sodding thing. (laughs) Yeah, because I'm open format, so I tend to play what the crowd like feeds off but yeah things like abba i don't know i remember what a couple of years ago i went to tel aviv and they are nuts about disco absolutely oh. crazy nuts down there you go to tel aviv at night i know it's a bad time at the moment for everybody over there but everywhere was pumping music i was wandering around the streets trying to get into clubs i couldn't find the way because i couldn't read anything but bloody good <laughs> we have that but, yeah. problem but it's due to excess alcohol we yeah. wander the streets trying to get into clubs and they don't let us in because we can't read anything. I should have tried that. Maybe I could have read the signs, but they're so <laughs> good. I'm not afraid. Remind us of that remix again. What was it? It's These Shoes Are Made For Dancing. It was like a vinyl remix. Absolutely amazing. I, I, I cheated. It was somebody else's mix. I played it. It went down absolutely crazy to the fact that people wanted me to play it again. But wow. you've got the classics like ABBA and the Bee Gees and all that stuff like that. But I look for something that's good that you can meld the mix of new stuff with old stuff and just pull it together. That's what I try and do. Yeah. don't know if that makes sense. No, that's good. That's good. Gary, any sign of that remix anywhere? I'm just having a look. There's a few things on YouTube, but I'm not sure whether they're actually... No, they don't seem, they're not disco It's more country. It's- DMC or promo only or one of those guys had a remix of it all and absolutely wow. we'll have to have a look for that because I do love a uh, I love a mashup so I will have a look for that one I'm going to make a note I didn't mean to make work for you Gary sorry if I find it it's I'll let not you know. a problem honestly Pete makes loads of work for me anyway so it's perfectly fine <laughs> brilliant thanks Paul brilliant that's fantastic okay let's go back now I haven't looked at it in the last five minutes so let's go back and see where we are Le Freak Sheik still at the top there Seven votes. Abba Dancing Queen's gone up to six. September, Earth, Wind and Fire, Ring My Bell, Staying Alive, Disco Inferno, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. It's We've got some interesting things going on a bit further down, which I'm fascinated by. Fascinated by. Okay, I'm going to pick somebody. I'm going to pick somebody who can play ones and O's with us. Let's see. Who could it be? Nigel, you've played ones and O's before, haven't you? I haven't done it yet, no. It can be you then. It okay. can be you tonight, sir. Let it be Okay, me. the world, Nigel. Now, the idea behind it is I share the screen. Nigel will pick a song from the already built crate. And when he says stop, we will stop and we'll play a little bit of that track. And if it's not in, Gary will add it in. And uh, then you guys get to vote and we'll try and get that to the top of the list. As That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? So let's share the screen. Somebody else trying to get in there. Not, uh, yep. So uh, the already built crate, 25 tracks curated by myself. Now, Nigel, can you see that? Yeah, yeah I can see that. Off we go. Okay, let's try and pick one with the play button next to it, if we can. And I'm going to start scrolling now. Okay, here we go. Start. So can you feel it? Oh, we've already done that one. We've done that one. We'll keep rolling. Go to below, instant replay, Dan Hartman. Instant replay, Dan, beautiful. Dan Hartman, instant replay. Is that on the list already? I don't think I it is. is that, was there okay. a remix of that? I think there was. If I remember rightly, the 12-inch version of that, he just goes on forever. Absolutely. Uh, which is great if you need a wee. <laughs> yep, play a toilet break tune. The disco equivalent uh, of Rapper's Delight. Absolutely right. Now, in the chat then, let's go back to the chat. Let's stick some ones and O's in there. It's in the, we've put it in. Let's see. So Dan Hartman, instant replay, the track we've just heard, ones or zeros in the chat right now on the Zoom call to see all ones. I, I could pretty much say, oh, there's a zero. zero. Roy. 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 Roy's not having that. Roy's not having instant replay. Who else is not having? Jeff. Jeff's not having instant replay either. Really? Really, Jeff? Okay. I need to understand where you're at with this because this could be a this could be a a transatlantic problem. This, so Roy, tell us first of all why zero on instant replay. It's one of them 
really cheesy. It doesn't really fit anywhere. And none of my crowds would like any of this. Wow. Okay. It's too cheesy. Okay. And the commander of the spaceship, Jeff, let's, let's get your take on it. What do you think? Why a zero? So I just wasn't digging the melody, and I'm not sure that the audience where I'm at will. But the, the okay. groove, but not the melody. That's too dated. How does that sound? Yeah. It's, it, does it stand out to you as yeah. a really old song? Okay. We are it talking about sound, a song. It, it is of its time, isn't it? It's, it, uh, it is absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. But let's see some O's on it. Uh, let's see some ones on it then. John Ferrari, where are you, John? I can't see you disappeared. So we got a one from John. What do you yeah. think on that, John? I liked it. It was, I haven't really, I can't believe it. I haven't heard that. It was groovy. Really? Oh, I, wow. I think I don't know about prime time of the night, but earlier, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's pick another I'll, one. I'll stick with my Stacey Q2 of hearts, though. Absolutely. Paul Davis, what, you like instant replay? I don't know. Sorry, I was searching again for more tracks. <laughs> Sorry. You, but you, you put a one in there. Go on. Yeah. Oh, yes. It, it, yeah. Unfortunately, disco can be cheesy, Roy. It's just one of those things. But sometimes it's like they want to go back to that time, etc. There's some new stuff out there, which is nice. But you're going to go for the thing. You're playing for the crowd and they're going to want those things. But it depends. If you're in an EDM, you're not going to do disco. You're going to do disco in a disco facility. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So for me, though, I know that disco is cheesy, but I just think there's an abundance of other better song in that era. Yeah, you play to the crowd, you follow it and see where your heart goes. There's, there's no pre predefining on that stuff. You've got a one, so what do I know? <laughs> yeah, I put a one because I have played it for my sins. It doesn't mean I necessarily like it. I will say that publicly, but the crowds will like it sometimes. But it's a for the people track, that is. For the people. That's a good subject then. So if you had if you had a venue and they were yeah. hanging up every tune and you could play what you wanted, not to worry about what it did to a dance floor. What would be your favorite disco tune? Wow, that's a good that's a good question. We could, we we should keep that and put that on the list for every crate. So if, if you could play any disco record, let's go around the room. I will say Amy Stewart knock on wood. No matter what it did to the dance floor, right? If I was gonna play it and I was gonna try and educate my crowd, that would be my go-to song. Right, so let's go, Morris. Let's go to you next. What would you play as your go-to song, no matter what it did to your dance floor? The Freak, that shit. That that would be my go-to song. Love that song. Cool, right, cool, cool. Oh, that's tricky. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Sylvester because I'm enjoying playing that more than most at the moment. Yeah. that's mine. That's mine. You make me okay. feel my career. That's cool, Manny. What about you, sir? I love those headphones, by the way. <laughs> You look like you're a silent disco. Oh man, I, yeah, I'm, I'm jamming over here, guys. I'm gonna say my my go to. I always loved Donna Summer. Feel love. It's just those synth sounds in there and the bass hits. It's just too good. That's cool. Now I'm dying to hear this. What this answer is gonna be, John Ferrari? Go on, mate. ACQ two of hearts. <laughs> I'm gonna have to jump out of here in a minute. I gotta help a friend that's stuck in the snow outside. But okay, oh, that's, I vote. No problem, man. No awesome. problem. Thank you, John. Safe, Thank John. you, Paul. Go on. You can give us one. Spin that wheel, Paul. Uh, I would go with a uh, little Marvin Gaye. Got to give it up. Okay, that's, that's a good that's shout. A jam. Mm. I like that. I like that. Paul Davis. Okay, so I'm always like trying to educate them on so some of the new stuff, not the traditional stuff. The I put a couple in there. Sex, Love and Water. There's a lovely remix of Ain't No My Imagine High Enough. Just really clubbed it out. I really try and educate them so that try and move. I because otherwise I get bored. You know what I mean? Sure. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Richard, what you got, man? If it's me, I'm playing First Choice. Let No Man Put Us Under. Maybe the Shepherd to Bone remix or the Frankie Knuckles. You, you would know that, Pete. Would I? You'd know yeah. that. I'll put it in. Yeah. And you can have a listen, but yeah, you would know that. Okay. It's been sampled by. I love that song. Thank yeah. you, Richard. It's been remixed Thank hundreds you. of times, hasn't it? Yeah. It was remixed about, in, it was, I think it was released in 77 and rele remixed in 79. It's one of the earliest wow. big, big remixes. Oh, it is already in the chat, in the leaderboard. Okay, brilliant. Let's just scroll up the chat there. Somebody uh, made it my name. Who's it's that? got one of those classic intros as well. Yeah. Keyboard intro. Good evening, Denny is in the chat. He can't change his name on Zoom for some reason. Looking through a vast collection of vinyl. Not go on, give us your final throw down there, mate. I don't know what to choose because it's such a glorious era of music. Probably the Jackson Sisters. Nice. Miracles. Miracles, yeah. Yeah. Or this one here, which is, I taste Ooh. this, love that. Oh, yeah. 
Taste mm. of Honey, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. I don't play okay. these very often nowadays. They're just there for show. They're just there for show, for the live stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That, gonna, thanks, Nigel. I'm just going to jump um, in. I saw today that BBC is auctioning off a whole pile of vinyl. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that the other day as well. Yeah. So well, it's pick and mix chaos. Wow. Basically, imagine. I walked into the archive and we've digitized most of this. Let's only keep the stuff that's really worth something and get rid of all the tosh. So, yeah. Yeah. There'll be a there'll be a few 12 inches there. They'll be, they'll be ready to roll. All right, let's move on. Roy, go on, mate. Give us something. If I could play anything that I don't normally play, two tracks, it would be Odyssey, Native Moon and Crap. Yeah. Love yeah. that song. And Kevin Knows by Don Summer. But I feel Ooh, Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So no matter what it would do to your dance floor, John Lowe, and believe you me, we've seen you trash a few. What would it be? <laughs> would it be, John Lowe? One, I don't think it's on the list, the Chicago and Street Player. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know that, I know that Gary. The bucket the, uh, the remix of oh, the 90s. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. I will put it yeah, on the list. That's going on the list. Thank you, John. Amazing work. Let's see. We've had other Paul, haven't we? We've had Paul, yeah, uh, already. Phil? What you got there? Love that headset, Phil. What we got going on, mate? Give us one banger that you would play no matter what it did to your dance floor. Human League, Don't You Want Me Baby by Purple Disco. Oh, okay. Just to modernise uh, the playlist a bit. Yeah. Is that... I don't think I've heard that remix. What? It's awesome. That is, is it? Yeah. yeah. You put it in, Gary, and we'll, we'll see if we can get a bit of it on. Have a look. We don't have Street Player. We need to sort that out. There was an old... festival. Oh festival dj trick where they would play the original instrumental of don't you want me baby yeah it doesn't start you don't really know what it is but then everyone eventually catches on and they all start singing i'm just adding it in now pete so it should be at the bottom of the list now mate she got a did, she did that one nigel with the get lucky that they were doing it on i think they still do it obviously with the touring but yeah. they with a very slow kind of lyric i, I managed to for me sins, burn it off YouTube, a really clean copy. And sometimes on a disco night, I'll, I'll start with that. Not that we endorse that at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't no. try that at home, kids. <laughs> they won't put it on an album. So, you know, what do you want me to do? That's why you're, that's why you're in the shade there. You're in witness protection. That's exactly right. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Jeff, what you got for me? Get off by Foxy. What was that? Get off by Foxy. Gary? Fox, that's one for I didn't, I'm not aware of that one. I've, I've heard of Foxy, but I've not heard that one. Let's Tell us a little bit one. about that, Jeff. It's pretty good dance tune. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just adding it on the list now, Pete. Cool, cool. There's a link sorry, to the Pete. BBC auction being put in the chat as well. If anybody wants to buy anything, then by all means jump on that one. I'm copying it even as we speak. Copy, because you never know. I might want to buy something. I do when I'm, I'm doing disco. That especially when I'm starting a set. Have you ever heard yeah. Soul Cessation, David Shire? No. no that's a new one I it's, made. It's from the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Okay. It was big. At the, it's a Latin thing that jumps into that kind of disco feel. And oftentimes put that on and it gets people really moving. What was it called? Oh. Salsa, it's called Soul Cessation by yeah, David Shire. I've just the added it this. into the list. It's in the list, is yeah. it? Like, can we get that? Can I, oh, and John has found Street Player as well. Thank you, John. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for these suggestions, by the way. We're right. doing really well tonight. This is good stuff. Let's see. Who have I missed? Joseph? Joseph, what, what would be that one that you wouldn't mind trashing your dance floor for playing? Go on. Go for it. Hey, you what? Got... The OJs oh, always do it for me. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I was just I, trying to think. The OJs are always my go-to. Love Train, anytime I can play that song. Um, September's always a big hit where I am. But, you know, if I want that not the song that everybody likes love trained by the other days is really my that's the one that i would stick to for sure wow okay that's good nothing wrong with a bit of oj's there's oj's in the list isn't there there is yeah i love training. it's actually the very last song cool cool okay unlimited sounds is that unlimited sounds is it that's that's ian oh is that ian yeah sorry uh, any opportunity got, to push his brand well, they probably spelt it wrong because I'm rubbish at spelling. But... Yeah, you've got the love, Candy Statham sauce. Ernie's bootleg mix up there. Yeah, which bootleg are we talking? Because there's many. Yeah, Ernie's bootleg, E R E N S, Ernie's bootleg mix. Okay. The, the most disco version of that record is the original version and not the source yeah. version. The version before that, the Candy Statham version, is basically a disco record. Yeah, it is. You're it? going with that then, Robin S. Show Me Love. The original don't, of that. Don't start off with that nonsense. I'm going to bring that up in every hackathon. Sorry, every playlist. <laughs> to that. Every yeah. single year, forever yes. and 
ever. I've not seen a tooth <laughs> mix yet. It's yeah, you know what? I was just thinking week. that. I haven't seen. I haven't seen anybody mess with it so far. It's but don't let anybody get any of Robin S ideas because I don't. Think we need to do a Robin S crates. All the remixes. All the remixes. Oh man. <laughs> oh god, Denny, yeah. Denny, go on, Denny. What you got for us, man? Was, like keeping the dance floor full. My two go to disco ones was always one after another would be like Dancing Queen, and straight into Staying Alive. Like they, they, they two kind of mix fairly well together. So. I go with him, but if I wanted to throw another one out there, was the one I suggested earlier on was I need a bit or I need a ward, ring my bell. Yeah, that's, ring that's my just bell. a classic tune. Yeah, we love that. We love that. Another one that goes for those two is um, Hot Chocolate, You Sexy Thing. You Sexy mm-hmm. Thing, yeah. Yeah. I do believe it's in the same key. She's always it's very fantastic. good. But you can't, yeah. overall, you can't go wrong with disco. Disco will always work. In It'll yeah. work from young group, young age group to older age group. It'll always work. Oh, hello. Someone's put Barry White for my first, my last, my everything. I was oh, yeah. just about to say that. That is a great That was in my head too. Yeah, good. In the chat there, right there. Andy yeah, Cooper. go on, please. What was that? He's Somebody working. in the pizza then, was he? <laughs> Andy Cooper, how are you, Andy? Good, how you doing? Yeah, good, man. Sorry, we haven't come to you yet, have we? No, I came on late. I was there. Oh, bless you. No worries. Okay, Andy, give us that one disco record to wrap things up here. <laughs> what you would play... That may trash your dance floor, but it's worth you playing because you love it. I'm, I've been looking through my crates and uh, there's just so much stuff to choose from. And I'm actually going to go for an 80s track, which hasn't been mentioned yet, which is Hazel Dean Searching. Oh, that bass line is just, it's got disco written all over it. Absolutely love it. It's a great dance floor filler. Yes. I, Hazel I Dean, always play it? that with high energy. High energy, yeah. yeah. It, it brings was... back memories. My, my brother is into hot rods and he builds kind of American cars. And he used to take me to Santa Pod, and they were, when I was like when I was younger, a lot younger. Actually, yeah, for the Americans, it's like a drag strip, and that was the two records that they had on repeat: Searching and High Energy. Great tunes, really good tunes. And also, it's exactly the same tempo and key as I feel love. Yeah, write that down. Brilliant. Thanks, Andy. Fantastic. Hello. All right. Finally, Chris, yes, you, got your, you got your hat on. Let's do it. I don't want to ring anymore. Maybe tomorrow, so she's going to sleep. Don't know. Hang on a minute. Well, well, we we get some interference from the pizza place right, again. Denny, I'll just mute him. That's oh, fine. Thank you. That's all right. Don't worry, Denny. You're fine, mate. Down the bottom, Chris C. I can't see your whole name, but go on, Chris. How you doing? How's it going? Yeah, all good, man. All good. So that that tune that you would play that you don't care whether it trashes the dance floor or not, wrap it up for us. Bring it home. What's it going to be? I just got out a little late. I had a wedding call. So sorry for that, guys. I don't know if it was already discussed or said, but my go-to is definitely Dancing Queen. Okay. There's some, yeah. some mixes for Dancing Queen. I'm sure you guys talked about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen's on there. I think. Let's take a look, a final look then at the, uh, at the crate and the leaderboard. Here we go. Let's see how much it's shuffled. In the last, let's go bottom to top, shall we? So first, last, everything, Barry White, The Hustle. Wow, who put that in? Oh, Richard, you're a legend. What a tune that is. Now then, okay, Andy, you and I need to talk because Stars on 45 is probably the greatest invention ever. Are my our American friends, do you know what Stars on 45 is? Did Was that a thing? Over there? Or was that just here where Radio 1 No, was that was a thing here too for a while. Really? I think I played it wedding-wise for a while, but I haven't had a request for that in forever. You'll never think get we should, a request for it. I think we should Yeah, that's, on, that may be the case. Stars on 45 Revival, man. Because we used to just play the game of guess which version, which guess which one it's going to be. Is it the Beatles one? Is it the Abba yeah. one? Is it the one where nobody knows what any of the records are? They did one a little while ago. They did a Girls of Gold Stars on 45 Mega Mix. Oh my God. But it was actually an official one. So it actually had the original Girls Aloud track. There were two of them. And I'm, I'm really ashamed that I remember that. Wow. Well, I, up now. I need that. I I'll need that. Out. But uh, saying Stars on 45, that's reminded me of the Stars on 54, which I just added. <laughs> was, that, um, was that the was from the movie 54, obviously about Studio 54. But if you could read my mind, the version with, it's less listed as Ultranate there, but I'm sure there were many other divas on it as well. I'm just going to try and find out who they were. But yeah. that, if you've never heard, that is an amazing version. That's got Martha Walsh. It's a Studio 54. 
<laughs> yeah, it was a soundtrack, wasn't it? Yeah, it was wow. something to do with the Studio 54 documentary. Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was a movie, but they did a whole soundtrack. But yeah, that version is absolutely brilliant. Man. I'm trying to find who was on it. It doesn't tell me who's on it. Let me Google. We love Google. What? While you're Googling, we're going to... Anybody who doesn't know what Stars on 45 is, basically it was the early days of mega mixing songs together. And it had a big Stars on 45 riff at the beginning, the middle and the end. What else? Get down Saturday night. Let's see. Oh, is this... Was this one you were talking love about? Me, guess what? I'm in love with the strut. I like your strut. Do you want to go strut and strut you like... Who mentioned that one? Me. Aha. Uh -huh. Someone asked me for a, a wedding last year, and I had to Google it quite a few times purely for the fact it's, it says it's 2021 release. And I'm I was listening to it going, really? That would be a re-release then, I'm guessing. I don't. I haven't found anything to suggest that it is. What was the track again? It's called "Strutting" by Thumpasaurus. Oh yeah, I saw that, and I thought, what the hell is that all about? Thumpasaurus. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Apparently, right. they're touring. Are they? They're touring America at the moment. The town near you. Yeah, on Thursday, they're playing in Vancouver, in fact. Seattle on Friday. There you go. I won't miss it. Perhaps it is right. a new one. We are going to we are gonna wrap thing. this up now. However, what I'd like you to do, if you're anywhere near the .com website, then please hit, you've heard some extra ones. Let's all chant, if you don't know what that is. That's, oh, God, it's gone. There we go. Let's all chant. You know that song, you know it, you've heard it. Love Come Down, Evelyn, Champagne King. That's a banger, that. that is. Feel free to hit the ones, or hit the thumbs up, and uh, move these things around. Now, you've got until the end of tonight to play with this, okay? The end of the night to stick anything in, or to hit, to move things up and down, because the Crate Hackers HQ will be taking charge tomorrow for another hackathon on their end so if you'd like to have a fiddle around with that crate then please do and and get it all into some order and we'll get it up by the end of the week but so i'm looking at so i'm looking at the time and i'm thinking man look how long we've done on disco and can i, thought, I, I, I just drop something earlier, in quickly of course I you can yeah quickly yeah. Uh, i got a promo this morning i'd imagine it will be making its way out soon but Heverell has done an amazing re-edit of Somebody Else's Guy by Jocelyn Brown. Yeah, it came through this morning. I would imagine it will be knocking around. It will be appearing on pools, etc. very soon. Hopefully, if I can get clearance, I'll get a video done on it on WeMix. But it's amazing. It's just, it's so true to the original. And they've just given it a little bit more of an oomph. So Peverell, which is P-E-V, hang on, let's find it. P-E-V-E-R-E-L. And obviously, it's Somebody Else's Guy. Um, as, long, as long as they've left that break in there that I can mix Mantronics got to have your loving with it, I'm happy. <laughs> it's 118 beats per minute, so it's probably a little bit busy for uh, Gotta Have You Love. You'll have to use that sync button and, and crank it down. But, no change uh, there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah it's, I found it, found it on SoundCloud. Yeah. Is it on SoundCloud? Awesome. Yeah, That's, I'll just um, put the link in the chat. Oh, superb. Thank you. I'd, so I just It just sprung to my mind because I remember getting... Going through endless promos this morning, thinking, yeah, rubbish, never play that. And then that, that was actually one which actually made me sit up and go, oh, I like that. So, yeah, that's that's my tip of the week. Really, Gary's tip of the week. Gary's tip of the week. And what can I say other than thank you? Thank you, everybody, for your input. Thank you for sticking with us. The next one, the U next UK one, is in two weeks' time on Monday the 20th. Yeah. I think that's it. Just, it is there, the oh, There's, there's yeah. the original. He's, uh, Nigel's waving his original around again. We said we'd never uh, talk about that moment. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's for Crate Hackers After Dark. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now, listen, the next hackathon's on the 29th. There will be a pre-party 20-minute mix that will warm us up, that will be off Facebook and all that. We don't want to get blocked. If you want to join early, get in for the sound check at 7.30. We go live at 8 with the hackathon. It is a... 2024 pop dance crate that we're doing next that's in two weeks time on the 29th tomorrow the u.s hackathon is happening so make sure you come on and check that out if you're in if you either if you're in the uk and want to stay up late or in the u.s and want to enjoy your evening you can do that you can do both but listen thank you so much for everybody for coming on it's good to be back happy 2024 to everybody because i know i haven't said it to everybody yet but uh, welcome thank you this crate will be ready by the end of the week. I love you all. I'm going to say good night. Been a pleasure, guys. Take good care. Thank you, everybody. See you later, all.